Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and today I'm going to show you how you can handle random pop-ups and overlays using Playwright. This was an update made to version 1.42 of Playwright, so make sure if you are following along with this, you're on 1.42 or later, and then make sure you've updated it up in your package JSON and you run an npm install. Now, before I actually go into the code, I want to show you what I'm talking about when saying we want to handle these random overlays. So I'm going to bring my commit to quality practice page up and I've added a new component to the site, which basically allows a random pop up to appear within one to six seconds, I think. So if I'm on here, I'm just working with some accordions and then randomly this appears saying subscribe to commit quality. And I can't do anything on the page until I click this close button. This component appears within one to six seconds on the page. You can see that one took a little bit longer. But this is the functionality we're trying to handle. We're trying to say, when I'm running my test, if anything appears like adverts or anything else, let's get rid of them. I want to carry on my test. And Playwright have made that really easy now because they've added this locator handler, which is what we're going to go through in the video. Let's jump in. Let's jump into the actual code and see what's going on. So at the moment, I've got a page.pause. I was using this for debugging purposes. We'll probably see it when I run in headed mode. But all I'm doing is I'm going to the random pop-up page. I'm waiting six seconds because that's going to guarantee that my pop-up appears just for this demo. I want to show you we're failing. And then I'm also trying to click the first accordion. I'm giving it a two second click timeout so I can speed this video up a little bit. But essentially, this test will fail and it's always going to fail because within six seconds, I'm expecting that random overlay that said subscribe to commit quality to appear. So if I say NPX playwright test and hit enter, we'll just wait for the test a moment. But what we're going to see is it's going to fail because it couldn't click the accordion because that overlay appeared. And tell you what, I'll wait for it to fail, but I'll show you that in headed mode as well. But there we are, it's failed. You can see here, waiting for accordion one, waiting for it to be visible, enabled, and stable, but it wasn't, and that's because of the overlay. So if I close this down, and I actually, let's just close this and clear. I'm actually gonna run this in headed mode, so it'll actually pause right at the start for me as well, just to give me time to show you it on my screen. But here we are, that's popped up. If I click continue, we'll see as we wait in six seconds, the overlays appear, trying to click the accordion, but it's not working because it's in the way. Let's close the report. So how do we go about handling this? Well, this is what the lo add locator handler method is going to do. And it's really nice and easy. You can do it at the start of your test. And essentially what it's gonna say is, set up this handler so anytime something appears or a locator appears on the screen handle it by clicking the close pop-up so essentially let's say await page dot add locator handler if you're not seeing this it's because you're not updated so remember go to your package json and run npm install after updating and inside this handle then i'm going to say let's wait for page dot get by text and I, I think it said subscribe. Oh, we'll take the text so I don't mess this up. So let's just refresh this page. Let's wait for it to appear. There we are. Subscribe to commit quality. So let's wait for this text to appear in the handler. And it's not but get by title, let's get by text. And then we want to have our asynchronous callback. So we'll say async. Put the call back in here and this is what we want to do whenever we see this locator appear on the screen so what i actually want to say is await page dot get by i think we have a test id i'll double check that now we'll say get by test id dot click so you want to say click it wait for that to appear let's inspect There we are, yeah, we have close pop-up as the test ID. So perfect, so let's put that in here. So let's just talk about this before I run the test then. What I'm saying is ignore the page.post. Right to the start, I'm saying, okay, create me a handler. And this handler is only going to be actioned whenever the text of subscribe to commit quality appears on the page. We know once that appears on the page, that random pop-up has appeared. And then we're gonna say is whenever we see this, run this 
line, which is essentially just going to find the close pop-up button and click it, close it, and carry on with the test. And then it'll do whatever else it needs to do. So let's run it and see what happens. And tell you what, we'll do it in headed mode. But we're expecting this to fix our problem and have no issues now with actually running tests, which have this random overlay appear. So let's just click continue. So we're going to commit quality. There's no random pop-up at the moment. We wait six seconds. It appears, we click close, and then we are able to open the accordion. If you're really quick, you would have seen that's exactly what happened right then. If I open up the video. So if we open up the video here, just speed up a little bit. We wait in for that six seconds. You can see it closes appeared, and then I've clicked the accordion there. We just might have caught it there. Perfect. You can see I slowed it down for us, and that's looking a lot better. And that's really it. This is really powerful and really useful. You can handle anything now just by adding this locator handler. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. I do also have super thanks enabled on my videos. So if you do want to help contribute towards the running of my channel, the website, or you just want to buy me a coffee, that's always greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.